Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. For those who are new here, hello. My name is Dion, a photographer in New York City. If you wanna see my work, see what I do, a link below for your convenience. Please come over to my IG and my Twitter and check out everything that I do, please and thank you. Okay, so my last video, I did the photo set uh, from TXT, the next chapter temptation called a nightmare. And today we're doing a daydream. I greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate you guys um, leaving comments in the last video. Give me your thoughts and opinions, um, suggesting which set I should do next. A lot of you guys want me to do daydream, so I'm doing daydream. Um, now, when I asked you guys which one I should do next, I had no idea there was a fourth one called a lullaby. And I saw that also in the comment section. I was like, excuse me, I didn't even see those. Um, and for those who don't know, I get these concept photos from the, the official Twitter pages. So when I was going through, I felt like I missed those or I did not see them when I was gathering the images to, to do the reviews on them. So I was like, what y'all talking about lullaby? I've not seen that. Uh, but they are, are in fact on, um, they're, they're definitely on here. Now, let me know which one should, I should do next. Should I do Lullaby next or should I do Farewell next? You guys let me know below. But yeah, let's get right into it. Okay, so first image. Like I said before in my last video with TXT, I love a piled up shot, all the boys together. I love this because of that. It looks so good. It looks amazing. Now, I did notice that they are barefoot and I'm concerned because look at this grassy meadow they're in. The, the, the sticks, the, twi the twigs, the things in the ground, I I just, I can't imagine walking onto the situation to take, like, I can't imagine because I've done photo shoot people have been barefoot in grass, but it just, I feel for them. That's what I want to say. I feel for them because I'm like, are y'all okay? Don't step on nothing. Watch out for glass. <laughs> I'm overly concerned with what's in the ground. You can't really see that. You will probably be more protected against if you had on some shoes. Uh, but anyways, I really love this photograph. It's just a great start to this to this to this video, guys. I just TXT always slays their photo shoots, and I just get excited every time I do one of these with this group because they always just give it. And sometimes it'd be it'd be the most excuse me, it'd be the most simple thing ever. They don't really do anything like crazy or like you know too much. But even when they do something more simple, it still gives. You know what I mean? Like you guys get it. You get it. Sometimes a little bit goes a long way. And that's what I mean by this group. A little bit just goes so far. Next image. Okay, so I may be the only one who feels this way. But for some reason, this photo reminds me of the Blue Hour comeback. I feel like they had like a camaraderie companionship vibe with that comeback. And I think so because I reacted to the Blue Hour music video with my friend Jorge and uh, Tim here on the channel. So if you guys want to see... That video is somewhere on the channel. But we, we, we reacted to Blue Hour and Jorge was like, oh, I love the Brotherhood. And I'm like, I, they are giving very much a group, a companionship. Like, they're giving that vibe. And I feel that same way about this image. Let me zoom in. I like the looks. I like, it just looks so good. The composition, where they're positioned. I'm not sure what was going on, what, what the direction was. But they're smiling. They're having a kiki. And I love it. I love it so much. This lighting, the outfits, it just, ooh. But again, they're in this grab with no shoes on. Y'all gonna be okay? I hope they were okay, cause goodness. All right, next image we have is soon been. Oh my gosh, he looks like a pixie, like like a, a like a otherworldly creature coming down, enjoying the the meadow like a spirit or something. I don't know what it is, but it's giving very much that. It's giving very much '70s vibe, maybe because I believe. I don't know for sure, but it looks like this shoe was shot on film. So it's giving me a old timey kind of vibe and I'm just obsessed. Plus with the, with the outfits they got on, it's definitely giving like a 70s, 60s kind of situation. Um, I like it. Next image. Ooh, my dog got his little, his little shoulder out. Oh, cover up soon, Ben. You, it's, 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 it's probably warm, but still. <laughs> still. And I know they're grown. I know they're grown, guys. I know. It's just... I still, in some way, see them as those rookie idols that just debuted. So, like, when they're, like, you know, showing belly button or, like, looking grown, I'm like, wait a minute. you They're, they're definitely giving you your, your little kid brother vibe. And I'm like, I just want to protect them from, 
the harshness of the world and like cover up, be modest, but like also you grown, so like bust a wide open for a real goon, you know, do what you want. Um, I like this image. I just whoever shot this, do more. Do more. I want to see more of your work because this looks amazing. Amazing. Okay, so it's officially this is my bias. I'm not sure if I flip-flopped because he like he reminds me of Soombin. So like I sometimes I've mixed the two up at times when I'm like figure out who's my bias because I, I like both of them but like I feel like he's my bias anyways I like this image I love this lighting it's very very pretty it is that let that, that, that sunlight coming on this side and the shadows on this side and how it looks and like it, it's just a, and he's looking right at the camera this is such a great image and I love the color correcting I love the the film look of this if it wasn't shot on film it looks like a film oh next image okay so like I always comment on how his lip shape is. It's my one of my favorites. Um, but you know what it reminds me of? Especially in this image, it reminds me of a cat. He looks like a feline in the face with the eye shape and then the lip. It's giving very much Nekotama. Like, he, all he needs is some ears. He needs, like, you know. Doesn't he look like a little cat to y'all? Um, this might be, I know we're just starting. I know, guys. But this might be my favorite photo. From the posing, the composition, the outfit, I absolutely love this. I absolutely love this. Let me zoom in a little bit more. His because his hair looks big. His hair looks, woo! It got that volume on this day. It got that volume. They they tease it a little bit, and like y'all know, I love a laying down shot, and he is giving me everything. I wish I would have photographed this. My goodness, this looks so good. Tell me this don't look good, y'all. This is everything. Uh, obsessed. Next image. Okay, so. For this picture right here, gosh, how you pronounce his name? BM, you guys know who this is. I want to butcher his name again. It is the most ethereal looking image I've ever seen. From the lighting on the side to the softness of the makeup, that flower, the glitter. I just, it's weirdly making me calm. It's making me feel at ease. It's making me, making me feel at peace. What a stunning photograph. I just, I'm in awe. Like, I, I love this so much. Next image. Um, They said, we're going to show these shoulders today. We're going to show this belly. We're going to show these shoulders. You guys are going to get a little bit of skin. It's hot out here. So we're going to, ooh, real quick. <laughs> um, I like his hair color. In the other image, you can't really tell what the hair color is. But here in the bright sunlight, you can definitely tell what it is. And I'm here for it. And this color, this color correcting on this image. Oh, these greens, how they look. This, this shoot, uh, this might be my favorite TXT concept photo photo shoot. Now, I haven't seen all of them. I should probably go back to the older concept um, they've done before in the past and see. Oh, I should probably do, um, what was their debut song? It wasn't Cat and Dog. It was the, what's the, what's the, dun, 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 dun. What was that song called? Oh, I don't forget. And it's like one of my favorite groups and I'm like forgetting. I'm a fake fan. I'm a fake. Dun, 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 dun. Mm, mm. What song is that? Ah, it's gonna bother me. But anyways, I should probably go back and see those concept photos. I didn't. I, I actually haven't seen those. Actually, now I'm thinking about it. Next, so we got Tay Tay. Okay, this peachy hair color. Like you guys, if you don't know, I love a light pink, a peachy color tone to a hair, or or a pastel orange. All that. All that whole th realm of color. Hair color speaks to my spirit. I love this. For the hair alone. The hair alone gives me. And then the image also was great. And then I just noticed just now the butterfly. Yo, I I feel like I'm acting really ridiculous in this video. I just love this. I just I my favorite thing about my favorite thing about K-pop is the photo shoots. Yes, I'm a photographer, so obviously I'm gonna love that, but like it's just the main thing. I mean, that's the main thing people collect anyways. They collect the albums for the photo booklets, the cover arts, whatever they're doing, and then the photo cards, they collect those things. So, like, these things matter. These things are, like, a part of the whole experience, being a fan, right? Not just the music, not just the performances, but also how they present it. And I love how they're presenting this. I love it. Next image. Okay. So, this might be my favorite photo of Tay ever. I know we've done a lot of photo shoot reviews for TXT, 
and there's been a lot of great photos, but this might be my favorite. Tell me this isn't the composition. He's on the swing, the outfit, the hair, the jawline is jawing. This is an amazing photograph of him. Like, I just can't get over it. Like, look at the material. Look at the material. Next we have is, now you guys said I can call him Kai because I can't pronounce the first, you guys told me how to pronounce it. Last video, you guys told me how to pronounce the names actually. I should probably have read that before I started this video. But I'm gonna call him Kai, just the sake of not butchering his name. Um, This photo is the best photo I've ever seen in my whole entire life, my God. With his spider web, the lighting, his eye makeup. 10 out of 10. Like, do y'all like, see it? It's on the screen right now. Do you see it? Do you get the vibe? Do you get the excitement I feel? This is the most stunning photograph I've ever seen. My goodness. Now, I personally want to try this lighting now. Oh, so good. Last image. Okay, so how should I say this? He looks very pretty. And I don't want to mean that in like in a negative way. It's not supposed to be negative, but someone might take it negatively. He looks very pretty. I like this photo shoot was made for him. Like I don't understand. I, it and it's not like he doesn't slay the photo shoots. I'm not saying he doesn't. I just I feel like this shoot in particular is something about the daydream concept. This lighting, the styling, the photo like it just is on another level for me. I am in awe of how amazing this image is. Like, look at it from the, like, and then I am obsessed with this makeup. It is very like Ingari, blush here, blush here, a, like a darker, not dark, but like a warm tone eyeshadow. It just comes together and it looks magical. I love it. All right, guys, this is the part where I, pick out my favorite image from the whole shoot and it's going to be hard especially with the last the last two images we saw <sighs> uh, <sighs> i'm gonna go ahead and pick this one yunjun i just i love this so much yes i know you're like he's your bias so why are you picking it maybe so because the last two images were great but i i love this too and i this is my favorite like i feel like this give me a magazine cover. I feel like I, I wish I would have shot this. Not saying the other images weren't good, obviously. I love the other images you guys saw. I just, this one speaks to my spirit the most. And then the other ones come, you know, after that. Uh, but yeah, let me know which one is your favorite below. Also, let me know which one, which photos I should do next. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video.